Fed is playing a game. We got some breaking news on the economy now. The Federal Reserve is leaving interest rates unchanged. Ongoing progress toward our 2% inflation objective is not assured. We are prepared to tighten policy further, if appropriate. Fed is playing a game with our emotions. Fed is playing a game with this housing market, with, which they made it mass. But the Fed is not ready yet. Three interest rate cuts this year that the Fed may be done hiking interest rates for now. And what it would mean to the investor, buyer, and seller especially who is focusing on Florida real estate market, we'll be discussing in this video. Americans are still feeling the burden of higher costs and with inflation remaining higher than the Fed would like. Tough to get inflation down in certain areas of our economy, most notably rent, which a lot of people are still struggling with. Make us more confident that inflation is moving sustainably down to 2%. This is a pain. Right now, real estate market is in pain. If you talk about the buyers or you talk about the sellers, they, nobody's happy. Nobody's getting what they want to do it. And that's why I feel like it is collapsing. This has become chaos just because the Fed has played a game with us, especially in a pandemic time. I wish the interest rate wasn't reduced that much, which we saw 2% and even 2.5% ranges. People bought houses that time, even in a cash. I don't know from where the money were coming at in that time. It's some, there's a theory, you know, Fed was kind of putting money in, in the market. Comment me below. What do you guys think? What has created this market is bad and chaos, confusing, plus unhappy market. Real estate market always runs in roller coaster ride. It's not always the same. It's not always great for the buyers. It's not always great for the sellers. But one party gets some kind of advantage. But in this market, it's so weird that nobody's getting as much advantage as should be. And I'll tell you why. And this I'm talking about based on personal experience. Also, when I was doing a research, what I see in other states, all this combined theory I'm trying to put in front of you. So you make a conscious decision. And also, I would love to make this video a little interactive where you share your opinion opinion also in a group or I mean in a comment section so that everybody else get some advantage because I'm sure every market is a different market real estate is always relative to the location it's not specific to what's happening in the government but it's more like location wise we are seeing the different changes so right now in South Florida what we are look seeing is sellers are not getting the price what they want and the buyers are not able to do as much negotiation as should be, especially in a good neighborhoods, in a good locations. And here's why. Because inventory is still tight. They are not getting as many as choices, especially right now. If you look around in a January market, the market, you know, in a winter market is always slower. But you do see some shift starts coming in the spring and the summer. But it's not the same summer what we used to have usually. This is still the inventory wise, we are not getting as much as possible should be. Because the reason is Fed played a game with us. A lot of, you know, homeowners, they bought a property at 2%, 2.5%. Who is going to sell that houses? And why would they sell? Because when they go for the purchase, they have to pay the 7%. Nobody's ready for that. So a lot of home sellers who wants to sell, who wants to move out from Florida, but they don't want to sell a property. They want to maybe rent or maybe they would keep it for as a secondary home, but they don't want to sell. That's what making is more tighter, this inventory side. And the buyers are not getting advantage of having the options around them. And because of that, sellers are getting a hope. In this whole neighborhood, only my house is in the market. Why would not someone pay a million dollars for this one? Even though the property stays in market for 180 days plus, people are not buzzing as much as should be. So I'll give you an example. A couple of properties we were looking by for our, our, my own client. We try to negotiate, but they are not reducing the price. I'll show you the example. This house, they started so high number, but the reduction, if you see the pattern, they are not doing as much as should be. And even this house came back in a market. They relisted the property 
they took it out 45,000 from it. But look at that from where they started. And they are not coming down as much as they should be as the property stayed in the market. So if you check this example, this is a fully remodeled property. and But this is in like a good neighborhood, but not a plus neighborhood. So this is another example where the property, they started around 1.1 plus and they start reducing. We even put an offer, taking advantage of the time in a market, days in a market, even though the property is listed pretty good number. It's, it's kind of priced similar to the market value but this market is not supporting the sellers as much as they supporting the buyers because uh, as you see the inventory as is tighter but the buyers are tighter too but there are not too many buyers in a market so this one to take an advantage for my investor we put in a pretty much lower offer but what happened is they, they didn't accept it. So this is another example which I'm talking about. It's not supports even buyers. Technically, if the sellers are suffering, they would take this offer. But why I tell you this? I inquired more deeper into this. The, the, the property, you know, even though seller got in a good price in the pandemic market, but they, they put it a good amount of money uh, because they wanted to keep for themselves. However, the seller had to move back to the physical work. So he put more extra money in the remodeling which supposed not to be kept in that neighborhood so for example the same house should have been turned around 100,000 he invested inside more than 250,000 so technically the profit what he wants to, not even profit but the money he wants to get it you know putting back in a market you know from the market he's not getting so that's why he's not giving up this one so this is another example where the sellers you know kind of feel stuck and he cannot even rent this property because he did over remodel this kind of example tells you it's not benefit to the buyer or it's not benefit to the seller both feel stuck buyer wants their property but at certain price point because the market is telling it is towards the buyer's market but the sellers are not accepting it is towards the seller's market does it make sense comment me below is it make sense or not? Now, let me break down some facts. Let me break down why this scenario is created so that you understand what's behind the scene happening. Always housing market is not just the numbers, but it's also psychology. It's a psychology of the human beings, how they are reacting, right? And the human beings are buyer or sellers, either way parties. They are going through some emotions in this whole transaction when you decide to put back in a market especially the re residential real estate market number one issue is sellers are still in denial they are listing the property as a higher listing price especially the good neighborhoods a plus school zone properties those neighborhoods are not getting dropped the prices are getting dropped with specific area but not the very good locations so the location sellers, they do not want to compromise. They still want their money in a pocket and they still have a trust in this market. So sellers are setting up with a higher price point. They are suffering eventually because what is happening is still buyers are not there. Buyers are not able to accommodate yet the higher interest rates. There are a lot of things are happening on a buyer's end. Just imagine something you could afford at 500,000, you have to pay million dollar to afford that property, right? So for example, there was a, even ignore the pandemic time, but pre-pandemic also there's a 4% interest rate. Right now it's running around six to 7%. So it's almost close to double. So buyers are not getting accommodated. Even though they are getting accommodated, then they have to decide what number they have, want to go for. They cannot go above and beyond even though they like the house or even though they like the neighborhood. That is what making it difficult, especially higher end properties where there are not too many buyers. And in a higher end property, sellers are not ready to compromise yet. With the time, days in a market increases, then again, they are losing a leverage to sell their house in a good price. Because more days in a market, people think there's something wrong going on and the buyer is going to take an advantage of that or they think they are going to take an advantage and they put a low ball offers so that's what one of the issue the second issue is not marketed properly there are a lot of properties which is non remodel coming in a market understand this buyers doesn't have a cash that's a that's another third issue I will say but it's all both the issues are combined when non remodel property are not getting sold 
in timely manner. And number three, the buyer does not have a cash. Because buyer doesn't have a cash, they are not ready to go for the non-remodel properties. So if you're not marketing as a seller properly, if you're not putting removing your carpets, if you're not remodeling your roof, you know, original roofs are giving a lot of troubles right now. All those things are adding up when you sell a property and you're not getting the correct price. Property stays in a market for a longer time. Buyer try to take an advantage, but seller doesn't want to give up. Again, the same story. So all these circles, vicious cycles are going on. And that's why I feel like it's not advantage to the buyers or it's not advantage to the sellers sometimes. You know, some sellers who have a plan B ready, they are ready to move out. They are ready to a little bit compromise and buyers feel, oh, okay, we got to get able to get the property a little bit in a good price point. Now, that's bringing me the new point is some sellers are not ready to move out, are not because they don't have a plan B. They think if I'm getting X amount of price, then only I'm going to sell this property. That kind of houses are not getting sold because if they are being stubborn, buyers are being stubborn too. Buyers are not ready to give up on negotiation in this market right now, especially in Florida. In other states I heard, especially in California or Boston, they started having the multiple offers in summer market. So they are going back to that bidding things, which is not good. They are going there, you know, so a lot of buyers has to pre-plan there how much further they want to go. And here in Florida, buyers still able to negotiate, but it's not as much as they think like they are going to negotiate. So all depends on the location. So if you are in a market as a buyer or seller, you have to have your strategy in place. You have to have good professionals in this market because without the good professional, you cannot get proper direction to buy a correct property. You think you are buying a correct property, but maybe not because there will be maybe as a buyer, you are putting, uh, keeping there in a negotiation or as a seller, you are maybe missing out by doing not a great marketing because this market requires both sides extra hard work. It's not easy market to work with. Now, my last point is affordability. Affordability is where everything is ending up. Because the Fed is playing this role, big role in our life, it's kind of making like a game where the interest rates are going up and down, up and down, up and down, the uncertainty creating the chaos. This uncertainty is creating the unaffordable issue because salaries are not increasing, but the inflation and cost of living plus real estate price, how it has jumped up, that is giving a big trouble to the buyers. So even though they want to buy because rents are high, rents are not affordable too. They want to buy, but these interest rates are making it huge, huge problem for the buyers. So that's why they have to reduce the price. If they want to buy, they cannot buy a dream home, but they will have to settle down somewhere in between with a lot of compromises. Or they need to understand the strategy if they are buying non-remodel property and having the vision to make it their own, then it makes sense. Because in non-remodel property, still sellers are able to give up some value. But when they put something inside remodeling, then sellers are not ready to give up. So understand the market, then decide that you are buying or selling or even investing strategy. Real estate market is not always perfect, but there is opportunity always in the real estate market. That opportunity you need to understand, grasp and act. Thank you for watching this video. Comment me below. I would love to hear from you guys what you think about this market. What do you think where is heading? How is behaving in your area?